Now, I've been hearing that Vince, there's a rumor that Vince actually wants to come back to his old company. And I'm saying people cry about it and snap and vent, right? It's like, by your reaction, you are just making me look like a fucking genius when it comes to what I think about pro wrestling. Remember when I said that when it comes to all elite wrestling, they wish this man can come out of retirement. And look, man, I can't believe I have to fucking comprehend this. When I said that all elite wrestling should want this man to come out of retirement. Look, you fucking idiots. That does not mean Vince should go to all elite wrestling. When did I say that? Like, wow, man. What what kind of grades do you kids get at fucking school, man? Seriously. Bad bad grades? Stop playing video games. Hit those damn books, kids. What I meant was ever since Vincent Man left his company, all elite wrestling has been fucking exposed. They have put on trash shows. Tony Khan has been exposed as an awful booker. That's what I mean. In fact, he was always trash. It's just people don't like Vince. So people gave Tony the benefit of the doubt with his bad shows. His shows, look, his shows were always bad. It's just people don't like Vince. So Khan was on autopilot. He never really worked hard on his shows. It's just any type of show he would put on, his stupid fan base would just eat it up and say, this is the greatest show of all time. It's way better than WrestleMania. Just to spite Vince, that's what I mean. Tony Khan should want Vince out of retirement so he can win back public opinion with his shows. That's what I mean, like, am I Einstein? Why, how, why should I comprehend this? That's the point. All elite wrestling, they should be begging for Vince to come out of retirement to go back to the WWF. That's what I mean. God. If he comes back, people will be sucking the dick of all elite wrestling once again, just to spite Vince. So, you as a fan, you should want him to come back. Ding, ding, ding. Wow, man, like, y'all don't put two and two together? Dynamite has been trash all summer since Viz left. It's, it, that show has been trash. They don't try anymore. But I'm saying to myself, maybe in hindsight, they never tried. Maybe these maybe these shows were always trash. It just people 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 were just blinded about their Vince McMahon hate. That's what this boils down to. That's what I mean by Tony Khan should be begging for Vince McMahon to come back so he can win back his fan base. So he can go back into autopilot. If Vince, it, look, if Vince Man comes back, people will jump back on the all elite wrestling band fucking wagon. They should want him to come back. But let's say this rumor is true that Vince will come back. I don't think he will get back his full time job. Um, but this is just what I think. I don't think he's, he's going to unseat Triple H. I feel like that will be fucked up. Sir, that will be fucked up. All this hard work that Triple H has done, right? And for Vince to come back and to take his job and to unseat Triple H. 
to give him a different job, like, wow, that will be fucked up. That's like, wow, you guys got family issues if that were to happen. I think Vince has, look, Vince has to have a heart. I don't think Vince would be that fucking ruthless. Would he? Would he come back and, and fucking fire Triple H? And take his full-time job back just like that? And to just shit on everything Triple H has done these past couple of months? Now, I ain't saying H has done a great job. I'm not saying he's been better. But from a job perspective, let's 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 look at this as any kind of job. Right? You fill in with somebody. You feel like you are doing a good, you feel like you are doing a good job, and then they come back and just fire you, and just take your job, bro. After you filled in for them, I feel like that will be fucked up. So, if Vince comes back, I don't think he will have his full time job. I think he will be. I, look, I think Vince will have a different spot in the company. I don't think he will have his full time job back. I feel like that will be fucked up. Stephanie, Stephanie will not allow that, bro. Listen, when it comes to Stephanie, look, man, you as a wife, you can't allow your father to emasculate your fucking husband. Once again, you can't do it. I feel like Stephanie will have to put her foot down. That will be public and look, that will be a public embarrassment if she allowed Vince to take Triple H's job after he done filled in these past couple of months. That will be fucked up, and I don't think that's gonna happen. Like, look, look, I think Vince will probably be a special advisor for Triple H. I think he will have some some kind of job within the company, but I don't think he will have his full-time job back. That will be fucked up. To just shit on everything Triple H has done. Just for Triple H to go back to his old job, wow. Like, that will be fucked up if he was to demote Triple H. Just like that. No, nah, man, that that's, that's fucked up. Stephanie will have to put her foot down. Come on, man. But if Vince comes back, I feel like it will be as a special advisor. I don't think he will be a chairman or something. No, I don't think he will have full creative control. He would just be a special advisor. Um, but to all the people who are crying about the possibility of him actually coming back, it's like you are just bipolar if you think that. You are just bipolar. Just admit it. You are just fucking exposing yourself as a fake fan. You are exposing yourself as a fake wrestling fan who just hates Vince. Really, you are fake. Um. Once again, keep that same fucking energy. These past couple of months, I've haven't seen anybody put over these walls these past couple of months i haven't seen anybody say anything positive about these raw shows huh hold on that little midget from new york said this look this is what he said he said last night's raw was painfully dull and it was filler Somebody said he said that in a fucking tweet. Right? So I saw it. And then, dog, the fucking next day, he said, if Vince comes back, it will be the most awful thing to happen to this company ever. Hold on. You just said Raw was painfully dull. Last time I checked, Triple H is in charge of the show you are watching. Am I missing something here? So, what would be the difference by your logic if 
if Vince comes back, you fucking dumbass. You f I hate this man. <laughs> I swear to God, man, I hate that little midget from the ear with a passion. I hate him. Hear me? I hate that little midget from New York. I just wish he was deplatformed. I just wish he was deplatformed with a passion, bro. He is a cancer to this wrestling world. For dumb shit like that. You you can't go from saying these raws are trash, sucks, painfully dull, filler. Triple H is running this shit. Now you're saying this coming back will be bad for the company? Like he will make these shows worse than they already are. Dog, these Raws, I see no difference between Vince running Raw and H. I see no difference. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, huh? See, this is why I'm the best at talking professional wrestling. Why? I keep the same energy. I'm very consistent. I don't, I don't fucking backtrack. When I say the sky is blue, the sky is fucking blue. I don't, I don't backtrack on what I say. I keep that same energy. You can't go from saying these shows are dull and painfully to watch. Then say if Vince comes back, will, will, will be bad? Dog, as if Vince will make these shows any bad than there you are? <laughs> like, no, that, that's not possible. These Raws are boring. I haven't seen that one guy put over these Raws as good shows. Just saying. What's the difference? When it comes to SmackDown, the only positive thing is Sami Zayn and the fucking bloodline and the fucking brawling brutes. That's the only positive. Outside of that, it's boring shit I'm seeing. So, how is it bad if Vince was to come back? Bruh, have you seen these raw ratings? They have actually gotten worse. With Triple H. So by your logic. Vince should come back. To save his fucking show. Bitch. I swear I hate that little guy from New York so bad. <laughs> I swear man. I don't like him. If I saw him in person. They would be some problem. If I, if I saw. <laughs> I'm telling you. If I saw that little midget from New York in person. I would have a problem with that little midget. Let's just say that. But the point is, Vince coming back. What's the what's the problem? I see no issues. But do I think he will be fully in charge? No. But here's what I heard. From what I heard. I heard Vince did not want to step down. I heard that he is looking back in hindsight. He feels like that was a bad choice that he stepped down. This is what I heard. He felt like if he was to keep on doing his job, he felt like these, these allegations would have eventually blown over. And those are facts. I actually agree with him. If he never stepped down, bruh, all this shit would have fucking blown over. So, I heard that he felt like he got bad advice from his advisors. That's why he wanted to come back. Because he felt like he should have never left in the fucking first place. But, now that he might come back, I'm telling you, I don't think he will be in charge. That will be fucked up. I don't think the board will allow that. Like, you you can't quickly unseat Triple H, bruh. Like, that's fucked up, man. Like, that roster has taken a liking to Triple H. He has brought all these people and girls and guys back. 
you can't really undo that this fast. So to me, I just feel like, no, Triple H will be in charge still. I still believe Triple H will be in charge. Maybe, maybe Vince will just be there to look over him, to maybe give advice. But I don't think he will fire him. He wouldn't. I, I can't see him unseating Triple H. That's that'd be fucked up, man. All this work he, he has done since since you've been gone. That that will be some fucked up shit. So I don't think it will get to that point. I don't think I don't think, look, I don't think the board will be that fucking ruthless. To have this man damn near fire Triple H <laughs> after months of being away. Nah, bro, that's not that ain't happening. That'd be fucked up. I just feel like the board will give Vince a different job title. That's all. I feel like look, I think the board will give a different job title. That's all. Listen, when it comes to Tony Khan, he should be begging for Vince to come back to the WWF. He should be begging because if he comes back. People will jump back on the Tony Khan bandwagon. People will want him to succeed. Right? Vince was seen as the big bad bully. And Khan was seen as the little engine that could. So people wanted him to succeed. But at the same time, you set up all elite wrestling for failure. You wasn't watching these shows from your heart. You was watching all elite wrestling filled with hate. You was watching Dynamite with your Vince McMahon hate. That's why you were saying Dynamite was better, even though it was not. You was watching with Vince McMahon hate. And you set up all elite wrestling for failure. Because now, since he's gone, these shows have been bad. But they've always been bad. It's just you was too blind to notice. Now they have been exposed. Their ratings are down. You needed Vince McMahon. Y'all just don't realize it. Because people wanted to prove that all elite wrestling was better. That's why people was trying to watch. They were trying to create some, some kind of war, right? Now, there's no war. How is there a war when people view Triple H as the same way they view Tony Khan? So how is there a war? How? Ever since Vince has left, Tony Khan hasn't taken that one shot at the WWF. You know why? Because he knows his fan base loves Triple H. His fans will turn on him if he talks shit about Triple H. Hell, half his roster will turn on him if he were to talk shit about Triple H. You know why? Because Triple H, he built up half that roster. Right? If it wasn't for Triple H, there would be no Adam Coleslaw. If it was for Triple H, there would be no Keith Lee or a Swerve. You see that gimmick that um, Swerve Scott got? Triple H gave him that gimmick. Let, let that sink in for just a second. You see how over Swerve is? Triple H was one who gave him that, that gimmick. See what I'm saying? So Khan can never talk shit about Triple H. It would not end good for him. Triple H has built half your roster, dog, so your ass can't say shit about him. Right? But I do not think this man will, will come back and unseat Triple H. But do I think these rumors of him trying to come back is, is, is uh, true? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do think 
him wanting to come back is actually true. Yeah, I think he wants to come back. But he, but he knows he done fucked up in terms of, bruh, you cannot unseat Triple H, bruh. You have to run that company from, from, from a co-partner perspective. Triple H has done too much for you to unseat him. He's done too much. So at, so at this point, if he were to come back, he has to do it from a co-partner perspective. You, you have to run that company along with Triple H. Until it's time for you to go back and retire once again. Triple H has already built up a good thing with his backstage relationships now. That roster loves him. The wheels are in motion for for his for his uh, shows in the near future. So Vince can't come here and just fire him after all the work he has done. But if Vince were to come back, this will be a great thing for all elite wrestling when it comes to their public opinion. Because when it comes to their public opinion, people think that show is trash now. But they were always trash. You were just blind with Vince McMahon hate. So you have been exposed as fake, fickle fuckers. Right? So the point is, you are elite wrestling fans. You should be begging on your hands and knees that this rumor is true that Vince wants to come back. You should be begging, literally. Literally, you should be begging for Vince McMahon to come back. If, 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 if you want to save all elite wrestling, because this show is dying to me, y'all need Vince to, 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 to give this show more life, more fucking energy. Now look, man. When it comes to these raw ratings, they have been lower ever since Vince May has stepped down. They have been at its lowest points under Triple H. Those are facts. I'm not trying to talk shit, but those are facts. The raw ratings have been bad. So Vince coming back, how will it hurt that company? How will it hurt the fucking WWF? See what I'm saying? You have to get out of your awful mindset about this man. It's like you are exposing yourself, man. Don't you understand? It's not, it's not healthy. It's just fake wrestling, bro. It's not healthy. Like, I'm giving you facts. Since Vince has left, Raw has Raw has been bad. These shows have been at its lowest points when it comes to TV ratings. That's all that matters. Smackdown, low TV ratings. Come on, man. Y'all gotta wake up. So if this comes back, how will it be bad? Now, look, man. I'm not trying to trash Triple H. He's trying to do the best job he can possibly do. Right? He's trying to cater to that audience that don't like Vince in terms of wanting to bring back Kai and Cross. Um, bring back the bring back the fucking good brothers. These people, right? He's trying to he's trying to cater to them, right? So I kind of get it, right? Look, I said H has done a bad job. It's just I can't see him doing any better than what Vince McMahon was doing. These shows have looked the same to me. Actually. They are the same, but with longer matches. When it comes to The Miz and Dexter Loomis, that's a goofy-ass feud, bro. They have a goofy storyline. You telling me that Vince couldn't do any better? Johnny G is a goofball. So, if Johnny G was, was in the hands of this man, What's the fucking difference? You see that storyline is boring. It's going too long too. 
it makes you feel like, damn, is Vince, is Vince the man still in charge? <laughs> Seriously. So you see, you know, so what the Miz and Loomis, if Vince was running that storyline, what would be the difference, bro? Nothing. Nothing. So what's the harm of him coming back? If I'm seeing shit that he will book any goddamn way. The Miz, he seems more goofy than than usual. So what would be the difference if Vince was to come back, bro? I'm seeing a lot of goofy shit on these shows lately. So stop with that bullshit. But listen, when it comes to Matt Riddle, People are saying, how did Matt fill a drug test, right, when weed is legal in that company? Well, it's quite obvious. He failed for doing hard drugs. That's quite obvious. I think Matt Riddle might be on Team Coke Boys. He might be on Coke Wave City. Matt Riddle, he might be wavy. He he might be wavy, man. I think he, I think he's on Cocaine City, Coke Boys. Because if weed is legal, what other drugs can you fail for? Because we all know he don't take roids. So what other so what other drug can he take that will make him fail? Obviously, he's on Team Coke Boys. But the point is. When it comes to all elite wrestling, they should be begging for these rumors to be true that Vince is coming back. That's it. I'm done.